this big tractor power video, we're going to spend some time out on a Western Kentucky field with a Challenger 55 tractor. This track machine is rated at 225 PTO horsepower and was produced from 1996 through 1998. We'll see this tractor working with a Vertitil 2600 vertical tillage tool. This is a farm-made vertical tillage tool with a modified Brilliant Packer frame with a chopping reel on it to work up corn stalks ahead of winter wheat planting. We'll climb up in the cab of this tractor and see the operator's perspective, and then at the end of the video, share some specifications and information on this Challenger tractor. So I hope that you'll enjoy seeing and hearing this big machine at work. Caterpillar revolutionized the tractor market in 1987 with the introduction of its Challenger 65 rubber track tractor. This machine had the horsepower capability of an articulated four-wheel drive tractor as well as the traction capabilities of a steel track tractor. The limitations of a crawler tractor previous to the Challenger 65 was that its steel tracks were not road friendly where the new rubber track Challenger 65 could work in the field with improved traction, reducing compaction, and could jump right on the road and move down it with similar speeds as an articulated four-wheel drive tractor. In 1995, Caterpillar revolutionized the row crop tractor market with the introduction of the rubber track Challenger 45 tractor rated at 200 horsepower and the Challenger 35 tractor rated at 175 horsepower. In 1996, the company increased its rubber track row crop tractor line to 225 horsepower with the introduction of the Challenger 55 tractor. The Challenger 35, 45, and 55 tractors were the first tractors to use rubber track technology in a row crop setting. Not only could these tractors excel in tillage work out in the field, but they could also be used to plant row crops like corn and soybeans and also work in those rows of corn and soybeans to cultivate them. Many other tractor manufacturers would soon work to emulate the rubber track technology of the Challenger row crop line. You might notice that these tractors from Challenger look very similar to another popular row crop tractor on the market in the 1990s, and you're correct. Caterpillar entered into a joint manufacturing agreement with New Holland to use their wheeled Genesis tractor as the basis for the tracked Challenger line. These tractors were built in Manitoba, Canada in the Winnipeg plant best known for manufacturing versatile four-wheel drive tractors. The blue Genesis tractor and the yellow Challenger tractor rolled down the same assembly line together. And another key difference besides the wheels and the tracks on these machines is that the blue Genesis tractor uses a Ford engine and the yellow Challenger tractor uses a Caterpillar engine. We're up in the cab of the Caterpillar Challenger 55 tractor. You can see the cab is very similar to the New Holland Genesis. It has all of the controls to the right of the operator's seat as well as a digital display dashboard and steering wheel. This joint manufacturing venture between New Holland and Caterpillar allowed Caterpillar to bring a row crop ready rubber belt ag tractor to the market fairly quickly right behind its in-house designed large rubber track tractor like the Model 65. The Challenger 55 was one of the largest row crop tractors on the market in the mid to late 1990s with that 225 horsepower rating. It's pretty interesting that just 20 years earlier, a 225 horsepower tractor was a model like the John Deere 8630 articulated four wheel drive. So horsepower was really growing in the mid 1990s and Caterpillar Challenger was right at the forefront of it with models like the Challenger 55.
Let's take a look at Caterpillar's Challenger 55 tractors specifications. The machine is rated at 225 PTO horsepower. It is powered by a Caterpillar 3126 442 cubic inch engine. This tractor has two different transmission options. The first is a full power shift with 16 forward and 9 reverse speeds. The second transmission is a creeper with 32 forward and 18 reverse speeds. This feature would be very handy in vegetable farming. The fuel tank holds 125 gallons of diesel fuel. The weight of the tractor is 26,000 pounds. It was produced from 1996 through 1998. Manufactured by Caterpillar via the New Holland factory in Winnipeg, Manitoba. The original price tag of the tractor was $133,000 and there was not a University of Nebraska test on the Challenger 55 to certify its specifications. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field and up in the cab of this Caterpillar Challenger 55 tractor and learning a little bit about its specifications and history. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming to Big Tractor Power YouTube next, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.